And yeah, the main event was a three-way, and the story early was that Jey Uso's interfering, interfering, and so basically they kill him. Edge hits an implant DDT on the steps and lays him out. They bring out the uh, doctors and such to cart him away, so we think, no more Jey Uso for this match. And so they do three-way. It's a very good three-way, all sorts of cool spots. The usual deal where two guys are in the ring is one guy's laid out outside, then he breaks up a big pin, and somebody else gets thrown outside. So ba- basically, it was the, you know, the Paul Heyman style booked match, which is big move, big move, big move, big move. Everybody trades big moves, and we got that for you know whatever it was, eighteen, nineteen minutes. And- you know, that was it. They stole the spot from the NXT show where Roman is in the cross face and then he's about to tap, but Edge dives in to catch his hand and prevent it from touching the mat, even though the intention was fully there to give up. It was, wasn't Brian who, who jumped in? Uh, well, uh, yeah, because yeah, 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 Ed, Edge Brian, had Roman in, Brian Ed, stopped Edge. it, then Brian puts him in the cross face, so it's a double cross face. R- right, right. So then Brian, Brian and Brian. Edge are headbutting each other to get out of there. That was actually really cool. I and thought. So finally, uh, Edge beats them both up with a chair, and he's setting them up for the one-man concerto. He hits Brian, so he's dead. Jey Uso comes back and hits the ring. Edge spears him, kills him with chair shots. Turns around, Roman spears him. Roman then gives Edge the one-man concerto. He drags Edge. He stacks Edge on top of Daniel Bryan like they're cordwood. He covers him, and he... Pins them both at the same time. Yeah, there was no doubt. Holy smokes. There was no doubt what the intention of this match is, and that is that they have one guy who they are pushing, and everybody else is there to, you know, service their one guy. So that's what this match was, was Edge and Daniel Bryan. You know, Edge, Edge, I, I got to say this. I thought, you know, I mean, they all were great, but Edge was really great. Daniel Bryan's, you know, you know Daniel Bryan's going to be great in a match like this. You know, I mean, it it couldn't be helped. He's always going to be great. And Roman Reigns is going to be great at being Roman Reigns, and he was. He was a great heel. The people booed him. I mean, he was like, um, he was the only heel on both nights that I would say was like a great, serious heel. I mean, there were other people who were booed, but nothing like, but it was like, oh, yeah, we're booing you because, you know, whatever. You know what I mean? This was like main event heel guy. And um, and you don't see too many guys like that with that serious main event heat. He was great. But, but Edge, you know, for, you know, considering his age, he moves great. His work, everything he does looks good. His creativity is there. His timing is there. He's a great wrestler. I mean, it's like, I think he's so underrated in some ways. Um, you know, I mean, as far as like what he did during his career and everything. I mean, he was, he was never Steve Austin. He was never The Rock, but very few guys are. But I mean, as far as just a guy who was a great talker and a main event guy who could carry a brand and a great wrestler, you know, he's it. Did he come in and, you know, multiply ratings no he did not or anything like that but um but when he's in the ring in these matches i mean he's not like he kind of said he's not like uh you know like bill goldberg you know just kind of going through there to get the paycheck and do the stuff that he knows he can do and and bill goldberg doesn't have to do a lot because he's got that aura um, but Edge doesn't have to do as much as he does either. Edge has that aura too, not a different kind of an aura. But um, Edge is not resting on his laurels. I mean, Edge is trying to work as hard as everyone. And granted, okay, he's not going to work the schedule. But sometimes that, I mean, like Levesque always would say that like that actually works against you when you're only doing matches every now and then because you're not in ring shape. And he was out there. Um, you know, I mean, he didn't get tired. He was great. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week, you can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, 
working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts, and also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.